In this video, I'll show you how to set up a stop loss for a position that's already open, and I'll show you how to set up a stop loss as well as a take profit when opening a position. If you enjoy this kind of content, don't forget to leave a like and hit subscribe. I have plenty more Bybit tutorials on my channel, including a Bybit step-by-step -step beginners tutorial. For anybody that might be interested in that, I'll be sure to leave a link for it in the description down below. Let's get into the video. Setting a stop loss and a take profit on Bybit is nice and simple. First, I'll show you how to do it to a position that's already open, and then I'll show you how to set your take profit and stop loss when opening your position or placing a limit order. So first things first, I'll go ahead and jump into a small position over here. I'll just go ahead and do 100. I'll go ahead and open long as well. Confirm, in position. First things first, let's set our stop loss. So looking at the chart, we can see Bitcoin is in a little bit of a bear market rally here, sticking in higher lows and higher highs along the way. And maybe Bitcoin's working on another higher low right now, and perhaps it's getting ready to move to higher price levels. However, if Bitcoin was to roll over from here and start closing below this pivot point here, then the structure of this little uptrend will be broken, and perhaps that's going to be signaling to us that downside is more probable. So perhaps it makes sense to manage our risk somewhere just below this wick right here. Here, and I'll go ahead and mark it with the horizontal. Now let's choose a price point that we want to take profit at. Just for the sake of demonstration, I'll go ahead and mark this area right here. And let's just imagine that we're targeting this horizontal as our take profit at 26,555. So what we'll do is we'll come down here to our positions tab. And right over here, you'll see where it says TPSL. Just click the add box underneath that. Then Bybit's going to give you this little pop-up window where you can put in your price points that you wish to take profit as well as set your stop loss. Of course, I marked these with horizontal so I can read the price point on the Y axis of the chart. So we have our take profit here at 26,555. And then down below that, we can see we wanna manage our risk somewhere below 20,654. Let's go just a little bit lower than that. So let's go 20,625, uh, maybe something like that. We can see right here that Bybit is estimating what our profit would be if price is to reach our target. And we can see that Bybit is also estimating what our loss would be if price goes against us and hits our stop loss. If the parameters look good, you just simply click on confirm. And now we've added our take profit and stop loss. And we can actually see these on the chart. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete these horizontals now. So let's remove that one. And then let's go ahead and remove that one there. And now you can see your take profit right here and your stop loss right down here. If you want to quickly amend these, you can just simply grab onto them. You'll see a little green box on the left-hand side here. If you grab onto it, you can actually move it around. So let's go ahead and move the take profit up a little bit. Let's go something like this. Now we've amended our take profit to 28,376. And we can do the same with the stop loss. So I'm going to head down here, grab onto the stop loss. Let's just say we want to move it down just a little bit lower, maybe something like that. Now we've amended that stop loss down to 20,531. You'll notice if you come down to your positions tab, you can now see the price points under TPSL. If at any point you wanna cancel these, you can come back up to the little box on your chart and click the X just inside it. So let's go ahead and cancel this one, confirm. Now we've removed our take profit. Let's go ahead and cancel the stop loss. And now we've removed the stop loss. And that's how you get that done if you're dealing with a position that's already open. So I'm going to go ahead and just close this out. Now I'm going to show you how to set your take profit and stop loss when opening the position. So let's head back up here to the order panel and I'll go ahead and do the same order. But this time I'm going to be checking buy long with TPSL. If you were going to be opening a short position, you'd be checking this box here that says sell short with TPSL. So I'm going to go ahead and check this box. In this box here, we're going to type in our price point that we wish to take profit at. So let's just imagine we're targeting 28,000. And then down here, we're going to type in our stop loss. So I'll do something like before here. Let's go ahead and just do 20,516. When you have everything set up the way that you want it, you just simply open the position. Confirm. Now I've opened that market long position. And as you can see, Bybit immediately put on my take profit level here and added my stop loss here. And it works the same if you're placing a limit order. So I'll go ahead and cancel these out like so. I'll cancel my position. Now we'll come over here to the order panel. We'll toggle over to limit. Next, we need to choose a price point that we want to enter this order onto the order book. So let's just imagine that we're looking for a little bit more of a pullback here, maybe somewhere down around 22,000. So I'll go ahead and just put that in for this demonstration. Then I'm going to check the box by along with TPSL. Then let's just imagine we're targeting 28,000 again. We'll type that in. And then let's put our stop loss down around that same area. So 20,557. 
Once you have everything set the way that you want it, you'd place your order onto the order buck by just simply opening it. Confirm. And now we've placed that limit order on the order book. So if price action gets down there, it's going to fill our order. And then Bybit will be adding our stop loss as well as our take profit if and when that time comes. And it's as easy as that. And there you have it. That's how you set up a stop loss as well as a take profit. Of course, you'll have to decide where a stop loss makes the most sense for you and your trade idea. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out some of my other Bybit tutorials on my YouTube channel. Thanks for popping by. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.